Um, and that's that's what I'm going to just keep, keep it on that. Here we have Hernando de Soto, so you want to know about the Native Americans. Um, I'm doing this Freedom School thing. It's like Khan's Academy where you can actually just learn on your own if you value education. Uh, learn on your own. When I teach the schools, it would be an inverted classroom. So, you know, watch this lecture. Come into class. Be prepared to discuss. And the first white man goes through Kentucky. You can see where the red marks up there in Kentucky when it gets all messed up there. And then they try to get on down and try to get on out. And uh, only 50 of DeSoto's men was able to escape. He dies of a fever and is buried in the Mississippi River. Hernando DeSoto was a Spanish explorer. Came in 1540. That's when he came to Kentucky. Uh, he rode with Pizarro when they conquered the in Inca Empire in South America. So this Spanish explorer could conquer the Incan Empire, but he couldn't do shit to the eastern woodland Indians. Here's a badass car. It's got um, it's a detachable caravan. It's a car in a mobile home, right? So, mobile home, hang out, drive across the country, but you just want to take the car out for a while, then just, you know, detach and drive the car to the store and leave the home, you know, where wherever you need to leave it. Uh, it makes you more mobile when you drive through town and whatnot, and you can kind of keep your stuff all in one spot. Um, they said it should have used a diamond. This is just a... <laughs> This is horrible, but the uh, it's it's a funny joke. It's saying that Jesus is getting all, down off the cross because they use steel nails, but if they use diamond nails, then that would have been able to pin him up onto the cross because diamonds hold in are stronger. Or no, actually they're calling it. They're saying a diamond. Um, my bad. It's a hydraulic nail gun, so it's actually a type of. Um, uh, a power tool. So they says you should have used a diamond, right? You shouldn't have just used hammer and nails. It didn't work if you used the power tools. My bad. I thought that it was talking about a diamond, like a real diamond. But I'm sure that that's why they picked diamond, right? It's a hard substance. One of the hardest substances known to man can scratch glass. Um, so that's probably why they named it after them. So it's not that bad of a mistake. Like, get, give me a break. Give me a break. Here's a. Um, you know, pro animal meme. It's saying if you get a dog just to put it in a cage or just to make it feel sad and you know, and when it's feeling sick and and not good and not well, if you can't handle the you know, you can handle the cute fluffiness, but you can't handle the the responsibilities of taking care of another life, then just get yourself a little stuffed animal. That's more what would suit you. Uh, we have more. <laughs> I don't know what these means are. It says Don, but it's saying, let's let's, let's see what I got here. So it's saying tired, uh, getting him to back off, but he's not willing to listen to reason. What's in it for you that you want him to back off? Well, he's been going a bit far with it all, and that whole thing with the car in Pittsburgh would rather that stayed out of the legal realm. Laughing my ass off, yeah, because I have a screenshot. Um, so he's talking about like. Somebody had stole a car or some shit. This is Kentucky Anonymous kind of um, calling somebody out. Kentucky Anonymous, he was the guy who called out Steubenville Rapist, and he's getting hosed for it, going to go to prison for 10 years because the FBI and CIA and all the cops and the fascist officials are pissed off that Kentucky Anonymous got them first. Um, but unfortunately, they're... Um, He's a, he's a racist, man. He was defending Clive and Bundy's in his fucking racist speak. So I don't know how close I want to actually look into this. I like his stances on women's issues, but I think his stance on men issues and uh, black issues are are not right. I mean, he's Kentucky, so it's, not a, it's a big fucking... Ah! Oh, my God! Sorry. That was a big fucking surprise, okay? Um, there's... <laughs> Uh, Donald Sterling, you want to talk about Chris Rock? I see we don't talk about his comments. There's a guy, man, he put it perfectly. He was sitting there saying, he wrote about Donald Sterling's racism 10 years ago when it was actually fucking with poor people and them getting kicked out of their buildings and people were dying because of the racism that he was putting out there. And so, um, the guy, I forget who the guy's name was, but he was just going off on him and he was like, oh, now he's just going to say that he doesn't want to, you know, his girlfriend to be around black people because of the friends that he chooses won't, you know, um, uh, accept of what was going on that's fucking crazy that's that's so fucking stupid like that's not real racist that's just talk that's just uh, okay so motherfucker does some shit he's a fucking racist and he does some racist shit big fucking surprise black folks been know about this shit forever but when it actually came down to the motherfuckers getting hurt who was there standing up for him who was actually saying you know let's not help people die so it was like when the real racism came out nobody said shit 
But when this easy fucking racism comes out, this easy just, oh, I am not like that. How dare him say that? Even Sean Hannity ripped on Clive and Bundy immediately. It's despicable. I don't agree with those comments. It's disgusting, and he should not have said those things. Well, I don't believe you. You didn't sound honest when you said it. It sounded like you read straight from the teleprompter when you said that. But it wasn't shocking. What's shocking is black people act they don't know all the owners feel the same way. So uh, Chris Rock is saying all the NBA owners feel the same way. Or whoever this, uh, it, maybe Chris Rock said it. They're giving uh, Chris Rock credit for it. So it's a Chris Rock type of joke. But the whole NBA is like Donald Sterling. And just like that um, Rupp Arena, Adolph Rupp meme. You know, making the college kids work for free and then go to the NBA and get, you know, now they're getting paid, they're getting millions, so who, who you know, who makes the bigger laugh at the end? Um, I guess it's like a Du Bois type of uh, Booker T. Washington type thing. Yeah, I might have built a house for some white master, but he paid me money and I could eat and live. So, do I win? Do I lose on that? Of course, I'd rather be in an idealized place where I could just be independent and be my own person. Um, and when I'm my own person, then, you know, I can take the principled stances that I can make. In the meantime, I'm surviving, working class, man, doing what I need to survive. And it's putting food on the plates of my children. Is that, is that a bad thing? No, I don't think so. Totally skipped this meme. It was uh, America's Unions, right? Working class people. This reminds me of... Um, Fight Club, we're the ones who cook your foods, we defend it, we built this country, we wake all y'all up in the morning, we make this whole world work, and then we put it to sleep each and every night. So don't fuck with us. We're everywhere. We're the working class. So, it's a good, um, he, uh, you know, the uh, AFL-CIO president is pro-union, so that's that's a good thing, right? <laughs> That would be a horrible... It would be like the NAACP supporting Donald Sterling. That was an embarrassing call by them. Here's um, the science of drinking water. You're supposed to drink water all the time. It actually in, it helps your senses and when it helps you eat. You're supposed to have two glasses of water after you wake up. It activates the internal organs. Have one glass of water 30 minutes before a meal. It helps your digestion. One glass before taking a bath. It helps lower the blood pressure. One glass of water before going to bed. Avoid stroke or a heart attack. Happy drinking H2O. So drinking water is healthy. It's a news flash for anybody that didn't know this. Bumbo getting fucking slapped around at the circus. Which is actually, that's what happened to him. I don't know, it's interesting that some of these, um, Esmeralda, Esmeralda, the hunchback in Notre Dame, when they got the gypsy who was living on the streets, we have gypsies in our town. So, that has to be, you know, it's cool that they're kind of connecting reality to a cartoon world. It's not funny, it's not a comedy. These are real life issues and situations that people actually put these animals, make these animals go through. Dance for the people. Stand up, do what you need to do. Right, and with the whip, it makes me think of that's uh, society, right? Whipping black folks, whipping working class people, get in line, do as you're told. That's the white women, the JCPS, telling the students get in line, do as you're told, shut up, sit down. I'm the boss. I'm the white mass. I, I rule over the whole world, and you will do as I say. To all the kids of color, and the kids of color are just supposed to follow them blindly, get 100% complete. Compliance, that's how you teach like a champion, right? Spalding University, they teach like a champion pedophile. They treat like champion. They're an incubator of pedophiles, so they're just creating more and more oppressor molesters. they just creating shit tons of oppressor molesters. That's all they're doing. The education system is, is fucking the whole country. It's fucking the whole country up. That's why you got all the dumb behavior, all the dumb decisions. That's why nobody's voting for the right people. There's no democracy. There's no unity. There's no cooperation. There's no solidarity. No democracy. No freedom. No, really, just they take away everything. If you just are blindly obedient, you have no soul. You're a soulless piece of shit. And if you allow other motherfuckers to get shitted on and you say nothing, then you train your soul to accept fucking bullshit for the rest of your life. And you shouldn't accept it. So if you love Dumbo, then you should be against animal cruelty. Origin of Easter. Um, yeah, Easter, big surprise. There's a 
it's, <laughs> it's ridiculous, okay? The whole notion of Easter is just stupid. So Jesus is resurrected. So we have a big-ass bunny rabbit who hides chicken eggs. That's the celebration. That's what makes sense. So the gospel of Mrs. Betty Bowers. Seeing suspiciously Middle Eastern-looking multitudes, American Jesus opened his mouth and taught them, Whosoever goeth forth and findeth eggs as white as my skin, thou shalt mark them blue as bright as mine eyes, yellow as blonde as my hair, and pink as... Kicky as my Babylonian bespoke sandals, but hark, eat not of the marshmallow peeps, for truly there are an abomination. So what are you socialist freeloaders sitting around eating my free food? Go forth, y'all, get rich, judge, and start some wars. I hope I find Jesus this year. Right, is that what the, uh, Jesus pops out of the egg or something? <laughs> this is a creepy, just a bunny rabbit in a laundromat. <laughs> um, Easter, it's got some weirdest uh, uh, religious affiliation with the uh, Egyptian gods. So the celebration of an event in history that happened on March 22nd or any day after that until April 22nd, depending on the first full moon of spring, is determined by the astronomically savvy Roman Catholic Church. So the Ro <laughs> sometimes they don't even try to hide their pagan roots. Yeah, yeah, we stole from the pagans. That's, that's what we did. <laughs> And so that's when Easter happens, basically. It's astronomically, right? It's either going to happen this time or this time. That's why St. Patrick's Day is a much better day because um, it happens right at the beginning of spring. Here's um, the, the meme baby, right? He's like, oh, man, ugh, better do as I say. I don't always hunt Easter eggs, but when I do, I don't care if the chicken cross the road, the money, eggs, and... The money, eggs are mine, bitches. Mom's going to eat EBT chocolate on the way home. Hashtag GMO. I don't really know what they're trying to say here, but they're saying it's all mine. I get the candy, I get the money, and then we're going to get EBT some chocolate. Unfortunately, chocolate is uh, financing the Civil War in the Ivory Coast, so if you're eating chocolate, then you don't um, have a soul or any morals. That's a little strong. If you're not eating cho if you eat chocolate, if you know about what's going on in the Ivory Coast, that's where most chocolate comes from, and you know about the conflict and how chocolate is financing the Civil War, um, which is basically the American and France finance the this, um, the totalitarian puppet to take over from the legitimate president and everybody know what had happened and so you know the um, the uh, new government just killing and assassinating everybody it's a civil war that's happening and um, and supposedly the election was ruled in the new guy's favor supposedly um, that's if you're to believe the media so happy pagan sex day or whatever Easter was before the Christians fucked it all up, <laughs> right? What was it? I mean, there's like a, a Esther is a, a a German goddess and some people says it come from Esther and then some people says that uh, the Egyptian goddess of uh, Ishtar or Ishtar, she is the uh, fertility goddess and she is but actually she was the leader of a cult that had child prostitutes and child sacrificing so that's what Easter is it's not just fertility but it's it Come here, all you priests, and um, have sex with these virgins. And then when the babies are born, you get to kill them. And then once you kill those virgin babies of, you know, the, the virgin babies you just had raped, then you get to take their the eggs, the chicken eggs, and dip it into their blood. And that's why you dye Easter eggs blood red in order to, you know, symbolize that Ishtar was a good thing. Uh, look, I'm just saying that somewhere between Jesus dying on the cross and a giant bunny hiding eggs, there seems to be a bit of a gap of information. <laughs> yeah, which is totally true. And actually, it's like Easter Bunny ain't real, Santa Claus ain't real, Tooth Fairy ain't real. You expect me to believe that Jesus and God and all this other fucking Noah, you think all that shit's real too? Even the Pope says that Adam and Eve isn't real. Y'all, y'all fucked up. Y'all some fucked up motherfuckers. Y'all act like you're better than everybody because you do what your mom and daddy tell you to do and mom and daddy tell you to be a Christian. I'm a good Christian. I believe in God. Shut the fuck up. Not only are you not a good person, you believe in fucking illusionary fairy tales and you're pretending that believing in illusionary fairy tales make you good. They don't. They don't make you good at all. But what does make you good is if you got a sense of humor. So, like, this man. <laughs> and I don't know, man, this guy, he reminds me of Snoop Dogg, but he might not be. 
Um, but I like the combination between the two because on 420, Easter fell on 420, so you have Snoop Dogg, who, you know, 420 is code for, it's when you're supposed to smoke marijuana is on 420 p.m. And so 420, the month and day of the year, you're supposed to smoke not just on, you know, 420 the minute, but you're supposed to smoke the whole day. The whole day is 420. And so here's an Easter basket, Easter man with a bunch of marijuana in his basket, right? So it's a good combination between the two, the marijuana pot day and the Ishtar celebrating dipping the blood of raped children day of Easter, right? I like this meme. <laughs> this means cocky and funny, but it's totally true. And the meme is saying, yeah, okay, you want to say I'm a liar, but Tooth Fairy Santa Claus Easter Bunny Fuck you. You fucking lied to me my, about my entire fucking childhood. I don't trust you. I don't believe a fucking word you fucking say, you lying pieces of shit. That's all you do is lie. You lie to oppress, and just like a charlatan, when you fucking listen to a charlatan, those motherfuckers are control you till the day you dead.